would uh what would you say to uh young Berkeley Canton who picked up sticks for the first time now that you're going through this process here? Uh you know, probably like just don't be too hard on yourself. I think this is such a you know, such a long and, and fun process that, you know, the bad game or, or bad shift or or you know, whatever, you're not feeling good. I think that's just kind of a part of the whole process. Now I just tell myself to, to enjoy it and, and, you know, bad days are going to happen, but you know, there's many more good ones ahead. So, um, you know, just, just not to be too hard on myself. I guess kind of uh what does it mean? Or I guess you're going through this pre-draft process and in, in the combine, I mean, what have you learned from all that and what have you been able to kind of take away from all of it? Uh, just like i don't know how fun hockey is like this is so cool i don't know it's like i i'm just having so much fun doing this and and you know like i've kind of mentioned it's such a such a dream of mine and like you know it i thought it would honestly probably be more stressful at if you were to ask me at the start of the year in past years but like this is so cool and so fun and um you know i'm just i'm just really excited to kind of get get going kind of building off what dave was saying and i don't want you to answer like if it's going to get you in trouble by any sorts uh but like you know heading into this draft i know you we talked about what teams you maybe would want to wind up with are there any teams that have been reaching out right now that you feel strongly like hey if i'm there they're gonna take me or have you been hearing anything about where you think you'll get drafted come draft day yeah i don't know i i kind of take it all with a grain of salt i think um you know, I went out for dinner with Utah there at the Combine. So, um, I think, you know, they obviously have a little bit of interest. Uh, Calgary, uh, kind of, you know, that I'd say 5 to 13 range, it seems to be a little bit of interest here and there. So, um, yeah, anywhere, I don't know. There's probably those ones that stick out the most to me. Thanks, Berkeley. All right, yep. let's go back. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to Dave. How much did you talk with your uh, Chiefs teammates that have gone through this process, um, that have been in NHL camps, and did any one of them give you particular uh, advice that you thought was was useful as you were going through the combine and into this experience? Yeah, I think you know I I kind of think of Sage when you ask that question, and you know just talking with him, um, you know he's a very outgoing guy as we all kind of know, but. Uh, just how he said, you know, talk to the older guys, the guys who have kind of gone through it all, gone through the process, and, you know, ask questions. That's what he's told me. So, you know, I think that's going to be something I'll do heading into it, and that's kind of how you learn and, and grow and, you know, put yourself out there, basically, is kind of what Sage told me, and he's, you know, he does a good job of that. Sorry, Julia? No worries. Um, you're you're gonna be in in Vegas, but um, you know the Chiefs are having a you know a watch party to see where you where you end up. What is that? What what is your reaction when you hear about that? They're all gonna be tuning in, and fans can be coming in to to see that, uh, where your next steps are. Oh, it's so exciting! And you know, just like these past two years, my interactions with the fans, obviously the management, um, you know, for everyone to kind of be in the same spot to watch me move forward, it, it's pretty surreal. Spokane's my second home really and and you know um seeing that kind of you know that made my day when I saw that so I, I'm really looking forward to that and you know hoping they have a good time there uh gets Berkeley how much are you looking forward to just draft day in general being down there in Vegas and maybe getting to see some other guys that you have high respect for you know being high touted prospects and just what what's it uh, going to be like for you that kind of experience down there and the whole weekend and everything yeah I like just from kind of right now it's like every single emotion in the books kind of in play for that I think you know nerves excitement uh, a little bit of uncertainty I guess it's going to be it's going to be really cool I think you know once my name gets picked my name gets called sorry and all of uh you know my family and and friends that'll be there then obviously in spokane everyone watching and back here in saskatoon and 
it'll be a sigh of relief almost and and it'll be a very special night i'm sure was to kind of celebrate that and then you know like i've said it the next morning it already starts and it's a uh, it's movement in the in a forward direction again Travis? Berkeley out in Vegas for this, man. Uh, you got any plans outside of the draft? Yeah. Uh, I just kind of got told I'm going to the, the um, award ceremony there for the NHL, so that'll be fun. Um, then probably a little bit of sitting by the pool and, and enjoying the, the hot sun. Um, nothing really too crazy, but, uh, you know, it'll be different than other hockey events where you go there and you're – you you have to prep and all this stuff for the for games and stuff. It'll be a little bit more relaxed, I guess. As there will be lots of nerves, but it will be you know kind of a relaxing experience, I think, kind of outside of the draft. So it should be fun. Cool. Uh, let's go to Dave. Do you have a timeline in your head, sort of a game plan that like I want to make my NHL debut? X date and this is what I have to do to get here. I mean, I know you're a very meticulous person. Do you do you have that sort of a game plan in your head? Yeah, like I'm not even gonna lie with you. Like I'm training this summer to play in the NHL next year. Like I think I'm kind of dumb not to. But um, you know, I think as a as a 19 year old, that's when I would really want to you know play in the NHL and be you know kind of a solidified guy in the lineup. But you know, like like I said, this summer I'm I'm training like I want to play so. Um, gets again? Do you still have one, or is your hand just still up? Yeah, I got one more. Okay. Uh, okay. How does getting ready for this draft experience compare to when you were getting ready for the uh, the Bantam draft? And I knew you knew that you were going to be a high prospect in that draft as well. So just kind of, are there any similarities? Is it different now that you're a few years older? Just kind of, what's your mindset on that? Yeah, uh, it's, I think with that experience, it was pretty like I knew what was happening. Um. Then kind of going into this one, it's a little bit different where I don't. But, you know, I think kind of with the similarities, like watching my that that draft and seeing all of, you know, my buddies get drafted and, and guys I've played with growing up go, then, you know, even to a higher extent now at the NHL level to, to see that and watch all my friends get drafted. And, and, you know, like I said, people I've played with, it'll that'll be really cool. And, you know, we'll all share that night or those nights together and, and you know, really celebrate our, our hard work and, you know, determination to get there. So I think that'll be really cool. Cool. Dave? Who are you taking to the draft with you? And uh, um, how emotional do you think it's going to be when your name gets called? Um, I'm taking about everyone in Saskatoon because my mom seems to just invite everyone. So uh, – <laughs> There'll be lots of people there. Uh, yeah, uh, there's going to be, you know, grandparents, friends, family, all sorts of things. And sorry, what was the second part to that? I forgot. It's like just how – have you pictured in your mind how emotional the process is yeah. going to be in, when your yeah. name gets called? Yeah. Oh, my. I can't even imagine, honestly. Like, I think it'll be – I think it'll be a, a blackout. I won't really remember <laughs> walking onto the stage – then I think I'll probably come back to, to earth when I'm getting, you know, interviewed in the, in the back or whatever. So that's just how I'm imagining it to go. But, you know, uh, you know, hugging, you know, mom and dad and sisters and family, it'll be, uh, it's just, it's going to be a really cool experience. I'm sure. Awesome. Uh, Travis. Sorry, it took a while to hit mute there. Uh, Berkeley, sometimes draft day fits are like a big thing. You got something special planned suit wise? <laughs> yeah, you know what I actually do. I, uh, um, a, a guy from Montreal actually flew into Saskatoon and suited me up with the suit. And, you know, it's the whole, it's a three piece suit with, you know, some, uh, some pictures on the inside and stuff and some quotes and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty nice suit. It's a little lighter since you know Vegas gonna be pretty hot, but yeah, I got a pretty nice little fit picked out. Did anyone else have anything for Burke? Berkeley, hi, Jay here. <laughs> hey, Jay. Uh, what's your what's your schedule been like here the past couple weeks leading up to the draft? Crazy, like I think. I would say all kind of leading up to the combine was very, uh, you know, Zoom calls and 
and meetings and suppers and stuff. And then at the combine, it was a very like almost intense time with kind of meeting, you know, teams and, and, uh, whatever. Then after that, you know, these past this week or so it's, it's calmed down a little bit, but you know, that kind of after the season to the combine area of time was, was super chaotic and, you know, pretty much a call or two every day. It seemed like. You have a feel for what the remainder of the summer is going to be like after the draft. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, obviously the draft here, we'll go to the development camp with with whichever team picks me. Uh, Then, you know, hopefully world junior camp. Then a little bit of training here, maybe a camp in, you know, Vancouver or whatever, meet some buddies there and then, you know, head back to Spokane and then move forward from there. Not really much of a summer break, huh? No, I, I love doing it, though. It's not really a job for me. Is that the uh, the hometown uh, bedroom there that you're sitting in? Yeah, it is. No, no, po- no posters of Wayne Gretzky on the wall. No, no, a couple of Gordie Howe over there, but nice. 